So before turning uh, turning it over to Lisandre and uh, Ami, Lisandre uh, Gilmore Solomon uh, has a, a degree in biology and a master degree in ocean science, uh, and she uh, went back uh, to work uh, in her hometown, uh, the at the uh, Magdalen Islands. She also collaborate. Uh, with uh, the research at her uh, CIGEP, uh, Research Center. Uh, and also the CIRAD, the Social Innovation, the Research Center. Lisandre is a, a teacher uh, with the uh, research study uh, program since uh, 2018. Ami uh, Forbes is a uh, counselor. Uh, she uh, works uh, at the professional insertion of uh, students. She is also a regular member of the Ethic Committee in Research uh, since uh, 2021. So have a great webinar, everyone. Uh, turning it over to you now. Thank you, uh, Nicole. So uh, I'll start by sharing uh, my screen. We have a presentation for you. So the uh, presentation should be up uh, on the screen now. So welcome everybody. Uh, and welcome to this webinar of the research study option. This uh, presentation was uh, created by Lisandre uh, and Amy. Amy, I will uh, let you introduce yourself, but we were introduced uh, by uh, Nicole uh, first, so we can skip that part. So we work with op option uh, research study before we uh, begin, uh, we have a, a quick uh, WooClap uh, with you, a few questions on research, and it helps us uh, understand our audience uh, better. Amy uh, will do the uh, WooClap. We'll give you uh, two minutes uh, to answer the uh, question. Do you access the question with uh, the QR code on the screen? So let's uh, share the results of uh, the uh, survey. But tell me in the chat if uh, you have access uh, to the uh, WooClap. No, it's not working. Well, it tells me that there's no live question right now. First question is uh, from what sector uh, are you from? From uh, what uh, education sector are you? I see the answer uh, coming in now. Do you see the results? So diversified, pretty much diversified. So a lot of people who've uh, been involved uh, with research uh, before in all kinds of fields. Uh, 
think we have mostly university and technical, some some high school too. Let me start the uh, second question now. Have you ever heard of the research study uh, option? So pretty much split down the middle, yes and no. The so you can answer in three words. So uh, research is blank. So the first thing that comes to your mind, research is blank, but it's not blank again, so a second word, and to finish, blank is impossible. So we want to have a sense of uh, what comes to your mind when we speak about research. So research is blank, but is not blank, blank is impossible. Very interesting uh, research is uh, stimulating, cool, difficult. Technically, we do uh, research uh, every uh, day. We hypothesize every day. Okay, great. Thank you for your answer. This gives us a sense. So this uh, gives us a, a general idea of uh, how you feel about research. So uh, this is a roadmap for our webinar today. So what is research study? Uh, we will be very brief, then uh, we will tell you how this project came about and how did it evolve. Uh, we are starting our fifth year. Uh, today, we will talk about the uh, goals, uh, what we are uh, trying to do with our students. Uh, we will talk also about uh, how the activities are organized every year. Those are a year-long uh, process. You can do a first year and then you have an option for a second year in this uh, research uh, study program. And then we will talk uh, directly about what are these uh, uh, preparatory workshop and how uh, you are uh, on board uh, in the program. Uh, who uh, is this, this program is aimed at uh, what kind of uh, people and what are the uh, benefit of uh, choosing the research study uh, program? Uh, we have uh, testimony from a student and an every and even a short uh, video excerpts where students talk about uh, their experience at the in the program, and then we will have a, a Q and A. And uh, we will explain how you can uh, apply to the program. <clears throat> so do not hesitate to uh, send your question in the chat or Q and A. We will uh, answer your question during our presentation or during the Q and A at the end. 
So what is uh, the uh, research study uh, program? It is offered to a student that wants to discover the world of research that want to go deeper into uh, this uh, field. This is not uh, housed in a specific program. Uh, this is a little bit like sports study. It is uh, it is on top of uh, your uh, curriculum, uh, regardless of the uh, program you are enrolled uh, into. There are some exclusion, but uh, they're available in most uh, programs. Uh, we have uh, two uh, profiles, two paths. Uh, the, the one is in the first year first year in the program and if you'd like your first year you can do a second year in uh, you complete the program we have uh, 20 uh, uh, spots uh, and the admissible program are all all CEGEP program are available in, except nursing uh, legal and uh, because uh, these uh, program uh, are too demanding and uh, leaves a uh, little time for an additional research study program. Uh, this option is full of activities uh, uh, over the whole uh, year. And I will uh, give you a little more details uh, about uh, the activities of the program. As Lisand uh, mentioned, this is uh, extracurriculum it completes uh, your CEGEP uh, training. At the Gaspésie des Îles CEGEP, uh, we have uh, campuses at the Magdalen Island in Gaspé, at Carleton, even in Montreal. Uh, there are uh, many uh, programs that are done uh, remotely. And the options, uh, helps uh, all uh, these uh, people to uh, connect in a single uh, program despite despite the fact that they are uh, spread all over the uh, province province So how uh, did the, the uh, program was created and evolved? Uh, it is available in many campuses. The first project started in 2018 with a pilot project. Starting in 2019, uh, we had the first uh, student in the program. Uh, they were a teacher associated with the program uh, on the campuses, but in uh, 2019, uh, we had a pandemic uh, of course, and this is uh, when the option became uh, accessible remotely. Uh, all our activities were online and in 2022, it was the end of uh, the pilot project and uh, since 22-23 uh, the uh, program was uh, officially uh, launched and uh, opened uh, to all program except uh, for the exceptions we've mentioned uh, before. Uh, there is a resource uh, teacher that uh, helps you. Uh, everything is offered uh, remotely but you can attend in the person if uh, you're interested. You've mentioned it uh, in me, but I want to say it again. In uh, four years and five years, this uh, program uh, is uh, evolving. We are improving it. Uh, we are tweaking it. It's not something that was uh, laid down and finished uh, from the start. So the comments of uh, the student helped us uh, adapt, evolve, improve uh, the uh, program to uh, meet uh, the needs and wishes of uh, the student enrolled in the program. So what are the goals of uh, the program? Well, we want to uh, 
uh, promote research with the uh, CEGEP uh, community. Uh, research is usually done at the university level, so a CEGEP uh, student can have a taste, if you will, of what research uh, is and to help them participate directly into research uh, protocol and you will see how they can be uh, directly involved in research uh, project. Uh, we want to uh, increase uh, research at the uh, CEGEP level. We so the uh, program can also inform the curriculum at the uh, CEGEP. Uh, we want also to uh, build relationship uh, with the CCTT. And uh, we realized also that this program help uh, student uh, staying focused on their uh, studies. And they can see that they can have an impact on some research uh, project and it uh, clarifies their career path and ambitions. Uh, and in terms of uh, motivate, it's a great motivator to stay in school also. Of course, uh, this is uh, teamwork. Research is not an individual uh, thing. You have to do this uh, in team. And uh, we do have a, a large uh, team uh, making the program uh, possible. I mean, is a director. She's also a an, uh, so we have the uh, staff. We have a two. We have uh, an advisor. We have a coordinator a reference uh, teachers, and there are also people at the research centers that help with the uh, governance. So we have the three uh, university uh, staff. So more specifically, uh, what are, uh, this is, we want to show before moving on to the actual workshop, to, what uh, are uh, the activities offered in the year one and year two? So in year one or semester one, uh, we do preparatory uh, workshop uh, for research. Uh, we inform them uh, what they need to know before uh, beginning a research uh, program. We have a student from uh, all uh, campuses uh, and all program at the CEGEP uh, level. So we try to find a common ground and uh, bring everybody on the same page uh, before we uh, start. We will uh, tell you a little more about these uh, workshop uh, in a few minutes. Uh, the first uh, semester, they are a conference, conference that uh, may be of interest to the student. So we do ask them uh, what they like and then we shop for uh, speakers and organize these uh, conferences. Uh, we have uh, also uh, blogs. Uh, we uh, use also Teams or Omnivox. I believe that the Teams uh, group uh, will grow in the years uh, to come. The second semester, uh, we have less uh, workshop because uh, we spend more time to uh, connect with a research uh, project. We try to pair research project uh, with student actual uh, research. I'll say a little more later, but we just want to give you the 30,000 feet view. We will also do a conference. Uh, there will be an event organized for the end of the year.
the conference can be about what? Well, the conference are a variety of topics, uh, and we try to uh, capture the uh, what's interesting to the uh, group uh, we have. Uh, this year, we have a lot of people uh, interested in marine biology and the environment. So I look for speaker in those uh, fields. We have a uh, graduate student from uh, Megu that uh, did a talk about how climate change uh, change uh, nutrition for northern uh, companies. So there's an aspect of marine biology, environment, and even sociology. So that's a conference we had this year. We had one yesterday on the marine ecology. So everything that's related to blue carbon and how uh, we uh, sample um, Marine life. Uh, the person uh, that presented yesterday, she's a, a project manager, uh, and she talked a little bit about uh, the kind of work uh, she does. So it's very varied, but always in line with the interest of our student. If they would have been more interested in the, uh, the space industry, we would I would have find uh, speakers uh, on uh, these uh, subject. Yeah, there's a lot of question in the uh, Q and A. Uh, actually, we'll see uh, later. Do you want me to take a break and answer some of them right now? Maybe briefly, but I want to make sure that everybody uh, can hear your presentation. So I would uh, ask you to finish your presentation and uh, do the Q&A after. Yeah, and maybe some of the uh, presentation will answer uh, these uh, questions. Uh, this uh, slide is for the second year, so semester uh, three. So the, the, our student that completed their first year, so uh, they embark on the research project earlier on a year uh, two, and sometimes they continue uh, the project they started or they were, or, or the project they were paired uh, with uh, the previous years. These uh, workshop, some workshop are still uh, given, but they're more, uh, specific and there are all again conferences and uh, possibility to uh, participate to uh, events we uh, work we organize uh, during the year so what kind of activities uh, do we have in the program so what do we do to prepare uh, our students uh, for this uh, program we have uh, the workshop here for year one, uh, there will be offered uh, during the fall and uh, winter uh, program. Uh, we try to demystify the language of uh, research. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit uh, complicated. They don't know what is uh, the association for research at the uh, in CEGEP, uh, we want to demystify uh, the field, and we do this uh, through fun activities. Uh, in a remote uh, presentation, we uh, want to help people participate. We want uh, these uh, presentation to be lively. We try to pair uh, people in breakout uh, room using uh, software like uh, Zoom. I'll uh, give you an example uh, to demystify the language of research. Uh, we created a Dungeon and Dragon page. Uh, to help the student get acquainted with uh, the vocabulary we use. They have a quick mission to do, I'll uh, save uh, the detail, but they have the uh, mission uh, where they find uh, words. So this is one of the activities that uh, we offer.
We have uh, only 15 minutes uh, less. Uh, do you think that uh, you will uh, be able Well, I'll try to uh, I'll try to speed it up. Well, maybe the uh, video at the end we can uh, skip uh, and uh, we can send the presentation also to everybody at the end. So I will pass. I'll turn it over to uh, Amy for ethic and uh, research. Amy will. Uh, show you the activity she prepared uh, to mobilize uh, the student with this uh, workshop. So uh, ethics in uh, research is not uh, the first uh, topic that comes to the mind of uh, our young uh, student. So we want to introduce them to the concept of ethics. You know, it's a discussion about what you can do and how uh, you can uh, do it. Uh, this is a workshop Lisanta wanted me to work on uh, for the student. Uh, we use the theme of uh, Jurassic Park so uh, first uh, hear about uh, ethics. So what is the difference between uh, morality and uh, ethics? And I uh, created a case uh, with uh, real documentation that uh, researcher use uh, to apply for grind, uh, these are the actual document from the uh, ethics uh, committee. So students uh, may uh, become more familiar with the kind of questions uh, an ethic uh, committee uh, may have. Uh, People who are uh, involved uh, with uh, new uh, human sciences and nature sciences uh, program, there will be an ethical uh, aspect to these uh, program. And uh, And they can uh, use uh, what they learned uh, in the field of ethics uh, here to for their uh, actual curriculum program. So we uh, browse uh, the workshop uh, quickly. I want to uh, show you year two. Uh, there is a progression in the kind of a workshop. The workshop becomes a little more detailed and complex in the second year. So these are the workshop uh, we offer to uh, second year uh, student uh, the conference. Uh, I uh, said a word uh, or two earlier, so I'll skip this one. Uh, we are looking at uh, what uh, is of interest to our student and uh, we uh, create conferences and uh, podcasts. Uh, we look at the university program. We, private research in uh, companies. We look at uh, all uh, kinds of uh, research that are accessible in Quebec and give them a, a clear picture of the uh, opportunities that uh, the field uh, holds for them. Uh, the uh, podcast, uh, the idea came uh, uh, during the pandemics. Everything was done uh, in front of a screen. So I was, uh, so I thought that uh, we could do a podcast instead of looking at a screen. You can uh, listen uh, to uh, the content when uh, you do your shopping, for example. Some people uh, welcome uh, these uh, podcasts.
the student uh, gets a, a private uh, channel uh, with the uh, researcher uh, that person was paired uh, with. This is uh, not very popular, uh, this uh, channel. Maybe we will uh, tweak it or change it, or maybe uh, this is something, uh, or maybe they will start using this channel more as the program uh, evolves. We will see. Research immersion, this is not a job. This is not an internship uh, either. The researchers are, are interested in some uh, research center and or continuous uh, education. Uh, are put in a pool, uh, their list projects uh, on a spreadsheet. And this a spreadsheet will uh, contain all the information a student need to uh, make an informed decision about uh, the kind of research they want to be involved uh, with. Uh, this pool of research uh, project is uh, submitted to the a student at the beginning of the year, and they can uh, choose from 30 to 40 uh, uh, research uh, project available on, on any given year. Do you have example for a project? You have human sciences, nature sciences, uh, and uh, these uh, li this list of project is uh, renewed every year. So uh, we have here a testimony of a student uh, or researcher that worked in the program. Uh, they uh, enjoyed the experience uh, very much. And they're very happy to uh, uh, transfer knowledge uh, to students. Uh, everything you've seen uh, so far is about uh, remote uh, training. We're always uh, doing this remotely. This slides uh, show you an example of a, a session that was done in person. Uh, there is one fall event uh, the, uh, that is uh, in person. And then uh, we have uh, all kind of uh, activities uh, in the fall that uh, are open to our students to uh, report on uh, what uh, they've experienced in the uh, program. And for this one, Rémi Quérillon uh, visited us on the research day a few years ago at uh, Gaspé. And so the students were invited to attend in person. The program is aimed to two uh, profiles. A lot of uh, people that are just curious about science and just want to try uh, research and uh, uh, see what it is. And uh, there are also people that uh, are, <clears throat> that wants to do research, that uh, they want to make it a career. What are the benefits of uh, this uh, program? Uh, well, this slide is a, a little bit of a comic strip. Uh, they're talking about uh, if uh, the program is uh, worth uh, is the time, and uh, of course, uh, absolutely. And the student will receive a thousand uh, dollar bursary uh, for participating in this program. Often, Susan uh, tell us that uh, their uh, curriculum. Curricular activities are keeping them busy enough and uh, they're concerned that they uh, may not have the time to uh, follow uh, the program. And what we tell them is that their actual CIGEP studies is the priority 
And this is uh, something that can you can do on top. But if you have too much exam, or if you don't have the time to uh, invest into the program, it's not a problem. We want this to remain uh, flexible, not a source of stress. There is no exam at the end of this program either. Other uh, benefits uh, to this program, uh, the, will, the program will be uh, mentioned in their report, final report uh, card. Uh, that can help you to uh, choose uh, your future uh, career. You will uh, know better what is uh, the field of uh, research. And after these uh, immersion, you uh, create a network of researcher that uh, can uh, help you maybe get a job in a lab. Quick uh, testimony, I want to save uh, time uh, to uh, answer some of your questions. So we will skip uh, the testimony. Yes, we have a lot of questions in the Q&A. There's a lot of interesting stuff you've covered. So let's, let's do the Q&A. So we have uh, 12 uh, questions or so. Very interesting. And as I said earlier, The first uh, question is uh, briefly, what is a uh, reference uh, feature? Is there a grand, uh, what, what is it? Yes, you're released uh, from your uh, obligation. Uh, let's say Amy helps me with the content of the workshop. Uh, she works on coordinating uh, the uh, pairing of student and researcher. We organize uh, conferences and podcasts. So yes, you are released from uh, your uh, teaching uh, duties uh, to work on uh, this. Uh, Are there other CEGEP offering this option? Yes, some uh, CEGEP, uh, I believe uh, Maisonneuve is uh, offering a certificate of uh, research or introduction to research. It's a different uh, program uh, and a lot of CEGEP are interested about the way we do this. And I believe that every CEGEP uh, is uh, creating their own program. Uh, we are uh, special uh, as an institution because we have campuses spread over the whole province. I know uh, he's asking uh, the CTTT uh, program, are they linked? Well, the well, the research, uh, our uh, real uh, research, uh, so the but uh, we also have um, programs with the continuous uh, indication. So some of our uh, teachers that are released from their teaching uh, duty to do continuous indication in Senegal, for example, and our uh, student can join these programs. So you have research uh, program, but also things related to continuous education. And uh, some student, uh, there are uh, aquaculture uh, projects that are done outside the curriculum, they uh, need uh, uh, people to help with their research and uh, they can uh, do the, these uh, projects. So there are kind of uh, possibilities to uh, 
do uh, kinds of internship. The team group is for students or teacher. Well, the team group is for everyone involved in the program. Researcher have access and they have a private channel for their project and their student. All student in uh, the program have access also. So all researcher are concerned and all the uh, student enrolled in the program. Are you uh, producing the podcast, the workshop, uh, the events? I think that you've answered this question during your presentation. Do you have anything to add? Yeah, the workshop uh, we are doing ourselves, uh, and me and myself and the people that uh, were uh, with us at the beginning uh, of uh, the program. Uh, we had other advisors and uh, reference uh, teachers, so we've built on that to create uh, the uh, workshop. I did a few podcasts. I'm not a uh, professional in creating a podcast content, but uh, what we want to do is to look at uh, teams. Uh, Recently, I did an interview with uh, an engineer that was uh, uh, talking about a mitigating initiative uh, for climate adaptation. Uh, did another one uh, with uh, Arc. Uh, he had worked in podcasts and human sciences, but most of the uh, podcasts uh, I did myself. So David uh, is asking, but you've answered this already. You're released from your teaching uh, duties uh, to do this. What does it look like? Uh, it was 0.2 before, and now it's uh, I'm a half time, 0.5 uh, for the year. David is also asking, are there official links? Uh, in the uh, ethics uh, classes, I don't understand the question. There's a no, another uh, question because this is extracurricular, there's no link uh, with uh, the uh, curriculum. But of course, uh, what they learn about uh, ethics uh, can uh, be useful uh, for their uh, curriculum, but there's no uh, relationship uh, with uh, the uh, curricular activities. But teachers of uh, ethics uh, could work uh, with uh, student enrolled in our program if they want to. How much work is it for the uh, CP? Is this uh, part of your uh, schedule or work plan? Well, as a CP, uh, part of uh, my uh, duties uh, include uh, supporting uh, students. Uh, Uh, Lizard is uh, doing uh, pretty much everything, uh, creating the workshops and uh, podcasts. Uh, so the CP uh, is involved uh, as uh, needed. Uh, we will do something new this uh, year also. And me uh, will be an advisor also to help researcher a better uh, support and accompany their student. Sometimes they're uh, doing this for the first time. Uh, they have no experience in mentorship. But Emmy will help them uh, to facilitate uh, the, uh, the process. 
we're working on uh, guidelines uh, for researcher. Research immersion, can it uh, be done remotely? Yes, uh, most of them are uh, remote. How does uh, the CGEP and CCTT uh, work together? Well, it has to have an impact on the training. Uh, concretely, they can come uh, with our governance uh, committee. We meet a few times a year to talk about uh, finance and the mechanics uh, of all this. They chip in for uh, some of the bursaries that are uh, paid uh, to our student and in each uh, research uh, center, there are people responsible for escalating information to their researcher. There's a lot of level and we are, we have connection at every uh, level, but yes, they do chip in financially and they do get involved in the governance uh, committee. And they also work on human resources because they recruit a researcher and do uh, the follow-up during the year. With CR asking uh, roughly the same question. Uh, each uh, student are uh, receive a thousand dollars bursary. Who paid? Uh, who pays this money? Well, the research center will uh, pay some of uh, that money and the CIGEP uh, pays uh, some of that money uh, too. It would be difficult uh, to enroll 50 students in the program, but now we have uh, 20 students, so $20,000. Uh, and we managed to uh, find the money. David is asking, Are there uh, links with some of the uh, classes? Nope. Is it hard to recruit uh, 20 uh, students every year and uh, do people drop out? Well, we had a slide about uh, how people apply to the program, but we do uh, some uh, we try to promote the program. Research is not well known by the student. A lot of them think that uh, they don't have the required knowledge to enroll in the program, and that's uh, not uh, true. So there's a, a lot of communication work uh, that we need to do. It's still a challenge uh, to have this uh, program better known to uh, student and uh, uh, make them aware that this is perfectly accessible uh, to them. It is not uh, a program that requires a lot of hard work from them, but, but uh, we need to have a communication plan. This uh, webinar is uh, one strategy uh, we have. Uh, we uh, let the uh, first uh, semester begin in two, uh, three weeks into the semester. We start uh, to uh, talk about uh, this uh, program. We post uh, QR codes everywhere on campus. Some uh, teacher uh, invites me in their class so I can present this to their student. That works uh, very well. We recruit a lot of students this way. And uh, word of mouth uh, work uh, a lot. Uh, people who've been through the program will uh, talk. Uh, to their friends or uh, siblings. And this is how we uh, promote uh, this uh, program. And the way uh, you apply to this program, 
you just write a motivation letter. You, we don't look at uh, the report card. We want this to be accessible to everyone. People uh, who have a hard time in school uh, can uh, apply and uh, enroll in the program. And we start doing this in September. It's a lot of work to coordinate all this, but this is how we start the program every year. So thank you, Lisandre. Thank you, uh, Amy, for this uh, project that uh, I wish uh, will uh, grow. This was uh, fascinating. I believe that uh, you are very passionate about uh, your project, and I can only congratulate you for the work uh, you're doing. And I'm sure that this uh, program will have an impact on the student motivation, but also in uh, the way we allow them to develop uh, uh, skills uh, and to help them understand uh, what truly uh, interested them for the future. So thanks and I uh, hope uh, I will have the privilege of uh, meeting you in person uh, at our next event. Thank you.